Miss T.S. Madison. You're live in the candy shop. How you doing, Mama? Hey, babe. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. I just need to know, is this thing on? You got new music in the street. How has the Mm -hmm. entertainment, music entertainment business been for you so far? Uh, Let me tell you, it's difficult to try to convince people that you are, you're able to do everything. So you just got to show them. You basically just got to get out there and show them. And um, when I first started in uh, in the music, you know, people was like, "This bitch, you can't sing. You, she can't no singer. You ain't no, <laughs> you know, you ain't no lyricist." You know, I wasn't trying to be a Patty. I wasn't trying to be a Narice. I wasn't trying to be. I was just trying to be me. And I found out that uh, the gays are critical. <laughs> people are definitely rocking with it because you are definitely booked. I want to understand. Let's just go a little deeper. How long did it take you to embrace T.S. Madison? I'm actually still embracing embracing her. People know that I have the adult entertainment background behind me. So they go like, oh, well, how's she going to go from porn to making music? And usually with, with, with adult entertainers like myself and also the female adult entertainer, Pinky, she crossed over into doing, you know, uh, music. And, and music has, has allowed me to show uh, people that, you know, I can – not only suck one up to like hiccup, honey, I can get you out there shaking your booty at the same time, you know, but right. that, that's just a, <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a part of my resume. It's just a part of my resume. I'm a working broad and it took me a minute to really want to say, okay, Madison, you've done this for, you've done the adult thing for over a decade. It's been about 12, 13 years. You've done this stuff. What's next? What are you going to do next? You do a lot. Uh, What is the most rewarding part for you in doing all the things that you do? Um, When people run up to me, whether I'm in the grocery store, whether I'm at a a, a gig or or wherever I'm at, and they come up to me and they say, Madison, you've helped me change my life. You've helped me. You've helped me not to want to kill myself. Like I was really contemplating over suicide and and you, you let me know that life is really worth living and, and what, what's going on in my present is not, you know, going to dictate my future. And, and I thank you for that. And it just that that's the most rewarding part of the situation. Yeah. Can you break it down how it works? Because you make well, it very this, clear that you're still making money from work yeah, you've done this, years ago. OK, well, this, this is how it works. It's different with me. I own the right. I own the right to distribute. I own the right to do whatever it is that I would like to do with my content. When these videos are played and, and watched and downloaded and from wherever they are on the Internet, I'm receiving a check from that. You know, And some of these videos have been up for 10 years, and it's new to somebody. There's a difference between being a porn star and a boss. There's, there's a total difference. There's just a difference. I don't escort. I don't have any advertisements up. Uh, seeking men to 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 pay me to to have private sex. I'm not on Backpage. I'm not on Eros. I'm not on Craigslist. I'm not on any of these things because I found out that the more exclusive you are to your brand, the more in high demand you become. How do you handle the snakes and the hater? Because they definitely don't get away with much when it comes to PS Man. Oh, no, they don't. I mean, I pick and choose who I decide to read the eyes completely out of. The other ones I ignore. We, we, people tend to attack things that they don't understand, that they're jealous of, or that they want to be. That's, those are the three forms of attack. So when I see these people attacking me, I know that it's one of the three. I pick and choose the battles uh, when it comes down to to me responding to that. But a bitch will get a complete shade from me. I, I'll, I'll look over there and be <laughs> like, okay, girl, and keep, keep, and keep moving. What is something you would tell the younger T.S. Madison now that you know what you know? I would really tell her to be prepared. I would tell her to be prepared because I wasn't prepared at, at, at first, but I would go back and tell her, girl, be prepared. When I first uh, came out with uh, in social media, when I got huge on social media from that, that little Vine clip, new weed, 22 inches, yes, when I got famous from all that and the Tosh.0 thing where she got a dick, when I got famous from that type of stuff, I was under attack from our community, from our trans community, mm-hmm. from our African American community. I was under a heavy attack from that. And I said things. I said things that I have to apologize for. I said stuff that 
it questioned my character on certain issues. And I, and I need to make sure that I apologize to that. Listen, when I said those things, those things came from a place of I was under attack from people who had no idea how I, who I was or how I ran my business or, or how this stuff came. So me being a queen, I did say malicious things that I felt like affected my character. That interview or two interviews maybe it was maybe a year ago or or two years ago when I was under heavy attack from a scene that I felt like, you know, you didn't, you know, you bitches don't know me, so shut the fuck up. And and you right. know, it was calling me this and the other, so I said, fuck y'all, sick ass hoes, bitches, stunt queens. You know, I went into, I really went into, a, went into a queen attack mode and instead of me evaluating it I came in like a diva and I said what I Mom. said or whatever now I'm not apologizing for reading the eyes out of them hoes ever because they were not they're not apologizing for letting me have it I'm apologizing for the context of of using terms of sick and AIDS and all this stuff because that is something that oppresses our community strongly and it has no eyes no ears no brain. It has no person perspective of a person whom it attaches itself to.